Alright man, thoughts at the press conference, how'd that go? Yeah, easy man. Happy days. Like, <laughs> Logan was triggered the whole time. Yeah, you were a little, I mean, you were still going at it with him, but you seemed Yeah, like, yeah, he was just getting worked up at everything I was saying. He was just like, oh, do something new. I came up with something new, and he was like, oh, that kind of hurt, man. So you guys I was like, what are you, what are you on about? <laughs> it's a press conference. I'm trying not, I'm not trying to be your friend. You take anything personal? No. No, no, no. Not at all. about your dick or your mom. <laughs> Come on, man, how old are we? Exactly. I'm 26. How old is he? Like, 24 or something? Like, he needs to act like... A fucking grown man. He's acting like a kid. It's just tragic. It's actually tra it's it's mind-boggling how he is high as a fan base, so how people would like support him. But it is what it is. What are your thoughts? This is your first pro fight for both of you. Yeah. And you know you have other guys fight for millions of dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but in a way, is this not more important for you guys because if you're here, this, to lose, they lose. When you guys win, it's this, personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is so important. That's why people don't understand like. Like, this isn't about money, this isn't about fame, this is about legacy. Like, I've created a legacy for myself, like, from where I've started to where I am now. I'm not gonna just let that go away and let some dude, for the rest of his life, be able to go, oh, I beat KSI, I beat KSI, I made videos and this and that. Nah, man, I'm not here for that. I'm here to make sure I get that dub, so. And I know you don't think about losing, but does it cross your mind that no. if I did, no, but if I, if I, if if I, I did, did, then did oh my God, I'll be in a happen? hole, I'll be in a hole, man. I'm, yeah. I'm alive, I like, I'm gonna be depressed, I'm gonna be be sad I'm be fucked up like that's why I don't want to be at that point because right. yeah but yeah. yeah all right so tell us about this training camp just a little bit of you're coming to, to Vegas to work with you know coach way with Jeff May with your own guys from but all how are you taking this different as a pro fight as a blast one what did you learn all right so we're, we're just going like we've ramped up the training like early so like I've like, I started camp like months ago like I've started sparring like every every week if not uh, twice a week and uh, everything's just just being ramped up and we're just doing drills to make sure we capitalize on I guess shots that come our way a lot of time I didn't counter well enough I kind of just waited for his turn and then it was hey, my turn interrupt this. we got a special guest Hey, my world G. champion, What's Seven up, Farmer. How you doing, man? Good How to you? see you. I'm very Most good, active man. world Yo, champion. I in know, man. I know, man. man. It's good to see you here, bro. Yeah, I had to come. I had oh, to come. see, yeah. I didn't I, see I, the I madness. Flew, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I flew in LA like two. We were playing Tuesday. Oh, you flew here two. Oh, four, two bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. I'm, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna watch it. Who you got him or Tank? Uh, you both. Hey, it's gonna be a good fight. Where are they happening anyway? Never, yeah, you think no? That's not happening. Yeah. Hell no. What happened? What do you think? Oh, so so we talked earlier during the during the uh, scrum with him about most of the fighters except Devin Haney being on the card. Billy just kind of but some like David Benavidez not a fan of it. Mm -hmm. Where you stand, you know, world champion in your own right, seeing a guy like this headlining a card. I mean, like I told people before, I um I love it. I feel like I feel like it bring more exposure to the sport. They bring in a whole different crowd um, and fan base to the sport of boxing. And even if we only keep 10% of those people. 15% that's still a lot of people when, when millions are, is tuning in. So I feel like it's a great opportunity. And do you appreciate the way, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Well, I mean, a lot of people have been messaging me like over the years of me boxing, saying how they've been inspired by like how I've come from nothing to be able to know how to box, et cetera, and this and that. And they've just been like, oh, it's made me want to do it and made me get involved. And you know, it's given me a purpose in life, et cetera, this and that. So I think it's helped you know, all, all over the place in bringing more exposure and also just, you know, making people more just involved with the whole of boxing. So. And I think a lot of you guys, you can respect, you yeah. know, the professional fighters, the champions, you know, he's not taking it as a joke. It's not them yeah. guys coming there like they haven't trained but a week. You know, he's devoting his time, his energy, his life to this. So I'm sure it's something you can appreciate. And their first yeah, time, I mean, they... Absolutely. I've seen what they did the first time. They, they did a hell of a job on their own. And to, and to have, like, a big platform like The Zone and, the, and one of the biggest promoters in the world, like Eddie Hearns, to come pick it up, I feel like it's going to be even better. I feel like they're going to train extra harder. It's not easy, especially with no headgear and 10-ounce gloves. Well, I'll fight at 8 because I'm a little smaller. But 10-ounce mm -hmm. gloves, 8-ounce gloves, all the same shit. Mm -hmm. What, what do you expect is a different... From is uh, wearing the headgear and the bigger gloves. It's a lot different. It's a lot different. And that's not, and that's not the scary one. It's, it's just to make you be on point. Make sure you're on point at all time because any little shot can, can, can put you away. You know what I'm saying? So you got to stay focused. And, that, and that's the main thing at championship level fights. Everybody's here. Every, every, everybody is here, right? In the championship level. But throughout the rounds, one of them surpass and pick up. And the one that do that is the ones that win fights.
What do you see in his first fight that he needs to work on, though? I gotta rewatch it. I, 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 I watched it as a fan, just loving it. I, I didn't did analyze it, so I would have to look at it again and, and, and critique. I watched the first fight, the whole thing. Sorry? In the, round, in the later rounds, you started getting a little tired, putting your hands down. He kept sticking you with the jab. Mm. But, but the, first, the reason why I feel as though it was a draw, because the first three rounds, you were like, you were real active. Well, I mean, I think the first two rounds, I kind of took my time too much. I kind of tried to assess the situation. And uh, I started to realize that his jab was really, like, snappy and it was just getting in the way of me trying to get inside. So I had to, like, reassess and learn to maneuver because of his stance. He's so, like, like I guess, what? Well, I don't know. It's... Why leg it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he I have to... Back foot probably. So pretty much a lot of times I have to make sure I'm always, like, moving left and right, left and right. So that's what I've been working on as well to make sure I capitalize. I mean, as a boxing fan, I understand it all. You know, sometimes it's, it's easy. And keeping hands up is great, and sometimes it's easier to say than mm -hmm. actually do. When, when you, when you, I, I'm a 12 round fighter, but when you, I experienced four rounds, six rounds, eight rounds. When you tired, it's like you can't. Your body's saying one thing, but it ain't happening. Like yeah. you, like yo, I'm gonna do this, but your body's saying no, you can't do it. But your mind, like keep your hands up. Your body, like no. Yeah. So it's like it's really difficult. But I feel like that's when experience come in. At the more and more you do it, the more and more you learn how to cruise and pick it up. You gotta know when to dictate the pace. You gotta know when to calm it down. And that's how fighters go 12 rounds. Cause there's no fighter in the world that can go 12 rounds full throttle at a high intense pace all fight. It's just not natural. It's not normal. Our, uh, fighters are. It's not machines. Mm. We get tired, but it's just about knowing how to hide your tiredness and knowing how to pull back when it's time and knowing how to dictate the piece. So it's all a learning experience. You had, uh, you outlasted him. You had more energy you seen at the end of the fight. That's where you came on. But looking back at the way you trained the first fight, do you think that you trained hard enough and you trained correctly? And what um, I think, I, I think with how he fought, um, we could have worked on some things better and that's what we're working on now. And uh, yeah, I definitely could have tr trained harder. But I mean, like, I trained hard. Like, <laughs> that's the thing, like, that's why you saw my conditioning was at point, on point, because I was able to just keep going. Like, I was the first to stand up every time after the break. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we know conditioning-wise I'm on point, so it's just making sure everything else around that is doing well. It's the same with, like, defense, offense, et cetera, so. He's a bigger guy than you. Um, yeah, but, I mean, like. So what adjustments do you make? So where he got the early rounds, the last fight, what adjustments do you make so you dominate the whole fight rather than the end? Well, I, I just need to put pressure on him. I kind of just let him do his thing. I let him build his confidence, and that's why, you know, I was. That's why he was able to just, you know, move around and do his thing, etc. So this time, I'm just not going to give him that time. This question is not about boxing, but it's about your YouTube, right? Okay. Do you think that that first fight saved his career? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. No, no. Of course, of course. Like, if that fight didn't happen, then what would he be doing? Like. He'd, he'd be, I don't know, he'd just be irrelevant. He'd just be, he'd be struggling with what to do. And everyone would just know him for that. But because now this whole boxing thing, people know him for this. And I mean, people still know him about what he did by then, but like, this is also like overshadowing it. So. Something funny about that is I didn't know who he was until that fight. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. And so, I started watching on YouTube. So yeah, yeah. It kind, of, it kind of helped both of you, but it was more so you were on the up and up. Yeah, yeah, on. yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, I, I actually just started a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so I, I, I was busy telling people, like, like people, some, like, as a boxer fans, they look at, like, wow, like, why are you having two people fight us from YouTube, whatever. But like I said, you can do anything you want in the world. Like, YouTube can start boxing. I'm a world champion. And I started YouTube. So, like, you telling me I can't be a YouTuber because I'm a world champion? Mm -hmm. I just feel like everybody will always criticize you or have something to say. I just feel like you just need to do what you do. That's it. Yeah, I, I, I find it annoying where a lot of people just, like, put you in a box all the time and saying, you can only do this and that's that. You do whatever like, you want. Come on, man. You have one life. So brother. here's the difference, though. We have KSI and Logan Paul, two of the biggest YouTubers in the world. The problem with boxing is we have folks like you and Tank can't fight. We have Lomachenko. Go, Davis can't fight. Yeah. Spence, uh, uh, Crawford can't fight. How do we fix that? Because the reason everyone's invested in this is we have the two biggest going at it. Shit, boxing, I, this is good. This is good for boxing. This is good for boxing. I was, I was fighters, the best for the best. I mean, sometimes it happens, but not often. You no, know, well, boxing is, is it's treated as a business nowadays. I mean. So one person always want to have an upper advantage, and when up when the next person not allowing that, then that's where conflict comes. You know what I'm saying? So. So we got all these younger kids watching this fight, and the, like you said, you keep 10% of them as great for boxing. How do you do that? Say that one more time. 
a lot of these guys watching, like the vast majority of people watching this aren't boxing yeah. fans, they're KSI or Logan yeah. Paul fans, but you said if 10% of them come over to boxing, that's great. So how do you get them to stay to boxing and not just want to watch KSI? I mean, it's going to happen naturally. I mean, I, w I wasn't introduced to boxing until I was 19 years old. So it's not really a way you can do it. It just had to happen naturally. I, I, I watched boxing one time and I started liking it. It was just that simple. When I was, it was 19, that was late for a fighter to start. And I wasn't supposed to be a world champion. I became a world champion, you know? So I feel like these guys got a shot, just like everybody else. I started late, and you see, never too late. That's the slogan on my neck, you know? You can be any age, I don't care. It go for any sport, it go for anything in the world. Right, my last question, uh, KSI, yeah, I, I see like right before the press conference, you were like worn out, didn't want to talk anymore, you were like ready, but you were yeah. just, cause now you're all kind of like jacked up and ready yeah. to go. So. You, is that, does that press conference get your adrenaline going? And yeah, so I, like for me, for you? I'm a performer. I'm always like, whenever the occasion arises, I always arise to the occasion. And uh, I know I just love it. I love this type of stuff. Like, obviously, I mean, this is cool, like doing the interviews and stuff, but being out there and, you know, showing that I am the man and I can, you know, fuck up my man over there, mm -hmm. easy. Like, I just love doing that. And I love performing, even when it comes to music, I love doing all that type of stuff, so. For me, I'm always just, and I'm an entertainer, and I, I just, I just love it, man. So. All right, I like one more. Yes. <laughs> no, because no, I. Yeah. Out there, wait, a lot of fans out there for you today. You're yeah. In Paul's backyard. Yeah, I was surprised. I was just, I mean, like, did you, did you come to England? Yeah. Oh, not to England. No, no. no, no your first like, press conference. The, yeah, the England press conference. It was just all me, and like everyone would show me love. Everyone hated on Logan, so I was expecting that here. <laughs> Fam, like half of half of the people love them and half of the people hate them. I was just like, bro, even your fans don't even love you. So this is this is peak, but oh well. It was right, great. Best of luck, guys. It was great. It was Who's great. gonna win? Best man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> best man. First question.